My name is Ashish Kumar. I'm a graduate from IIT Roorkee and I have been associated with Ask IITians as a physics faculty for the last 3 years and today we will discuss a few problems in physics that I myself faced right when I was preparing for the JEE examination and uh, I will give you a few tips and tricks and the concepts that are involved in these problems and so that uh, it will help you and uh, make uh, to tackle these problems uh, much e in a much easier way right when you are uh, studying for the JE because the cons uh, for JE uh, problems you need more conceptual uh, clarity rather than just the theoretical knowledge or bookish knowledge right so in these problems a very good conceptual clarity is required and that's what i'm going to uh, tell you about in these in this video okay so first of all this is the problem that we have uh, in this diagram there are two masses one is a bigger mass of capital m and one is a smaller mass having mass small m and the coefficient of friction between the bigger mass and the floor is mu2 and between the small mass and the bigger mass is mu1 okay so in this problem we have to find the acceleration of the bigger mass right so if you consider this situation uh, normally in all the problems that are associated with mechanics right uh, whenever there is a string and the, there are pulleys that are involved in a diagram usually it is given that the string is massless and the pulley is massless right the uh, consequence of this is that the string the tension in the string will be constant same throughout at all points the tension in the string will be same similarly we assume that the pulley is massless so that the acceleration we don't have to consider the acceleration of the pulley just that's it right so if we consider there will be a tension that will be constant throughout this string this is this tension this is the force that will be pulling this uh, bigger mask of capital m and this tension will be here also similarly here also this is the same tension that will be present throughout this string okay so if you want to uh, uh, proceed with this problem right you have to consider each of these masses as individual mass and then uh, make a free body diagram of each of this mass and find all the forces that are acting on that mass and then you apply the newton second law to find the acceleration right so here we have two masses if i consider the first mass of mass m small mass m right if i consider just this mass if i draw this uh, uh, free body diagram of this mass the forces that will be acting on this mass is first is the tension that is acting upwards right that will be uh, produced by the string with which it is attached second is the weight obviously any mass has weight we cannot ignore that there will always be a weight mg acting downwards okay so the uh, coefficient of friction mu1 is given between the two masses right so uh, just by uh, logically looking at this problem you can see that the motion in this uh, diagram will be that the mass capital m the bigger mass will move towards the right hand side and the smaller mass will move downwards right so we if the small mass is moving downward that means the friction there is friction right between the two masses so the friction always opposes relative motion between the two masses so we we have to we can say that the friction force acting on this mass will be upwards right it will be opposing the motion of the small mass m if we consider this force as f1 now because when if this uh, bigger mass is moving towards the right and this small mass is in contact with this bigger mass there has to be a contact force present right so we have to include this contact force also and that uh, this contact force is pushing this mass towards the right the small mass towards the right this contact force we can say will be applied by the bigger mass on the small mass in this way suppose i say this is n1 right okay so if you know the coefficient of friction between the two masses you know the normal reaction between the two masses that is applied on the smaller mass you know the friction will be mu1 n1 right that is the friction okay so these are the forces that are acting on the small mass m right so if you consider uh, now apply the uh, newton's law on this mass right also remember in uh, this if i consider the acceleration of this capital mass towards the right as a the acceleration of the bigger mass is a just consider this if the bigger mass moves x displacement towards the right there are two ways uh, the this string this string between these two pulleys this length is constant between the two pulleys right 
this length will decrease by x similarly the length of the upper string will also decrease by x but this length of the string between the two pulleys is constant so these uh, this 2x decrease in length this string is not a stretchable right it is a, a fixed right it will not stretch it is not a rubber so what will happen these two x displacements of the string have to be accounted for and that will be of the mass that will be going downwards so you see the acceleration of the small mass that is going downwards will be twice that of the acceleration of the bigger mass so if i consider the uh, bigger mass is moving with acceleration a the small mass will move to in the downwards direction with acceleration 2a okay and also because this mass is moving towards the right it is pushing this mass along with it the small mass in the horizontal direction so we can say that acceleration of the small mass in the horizontal direction will also be a right so these are the two uh, motions one in the vertical and in the horizontal direction so if i apply the newton's second law in the vertical direction i say that the, because there is a net motion in the downward direction i will say mg minus the upward force is forces t minus the friction force is equal to m into acceleration acceleration is 2a so 2a right this is the equation in the vertical motion now for the horizontal direction the acceleration this a acceleration the horizontal direction will be provided by by the just by the contact force n1 so we can say that n1 is also equal to ma right now friction force is mu1 n1 so nothing but equal to putting this value mu1 ma so uh, i can find the uh, relation of tension right i can uh, find the tension from this that will be mg minus uh, f1 f1 is mu1 ma and minus mu2 oh, sorry 2 ma that will be equal to the tension right that this is the tension that is constant same throughout the whole string okay now this is the first body the small mass m now we have to consider the bigger mass right if you make the free body diagram of a bigger mass okay let's make it here this is the bigger mass now this mass has only uh, motion in one direction that is the horizontal direction that we have uh, assumed that the acceleration is a in this direction right now consider these two pulleys that are acting that are with which it is attached right this string this string is having tension t similarly this mass will also be pulled by this string that is attached to the pulley t right this uh, pulley is a part of this mass only right it is attached to this mass so this force that is tension that it will be also acted on the bigger mass right also if you consider this small mass there will be a tension with respect to this mass because this mass is pulling it downwards the tension will also be acted on this in the downward direction just considering this mass this tension will be counteracted by the normal reaction right also there is one more force if you consider the weight force mg and because there is coefficient of friction between uh, the small ma bigger mass and the floor there will be a friction force also f2 okay so also there will be the normal reaction from the ground right suppose i take that as n2 and just apply the newton's second uh, third law and you know that if there is a contact force between the bigger mass and the small mass that is the n1 this is applied on the small mass right there has to be a contact force that will be applied back on the bigger mass also but in the opposite direction that's what the newton third law states right so there will be a contact force in the opposite direction to this that will be just m1 only right so now we have uh, now we have resolved the forces in this free body diagram so just uh, apply the newton's uh, second law right in the vertical direction you see Uh, this n2 all the forces are acting downwards on this except n2 the normal reaction from the ground so n2 will be equal to mg yes it is balancing the mass plus the uh, tension that will be acted right this tension this is, is pulling this bigger mass downwards right so that will be counted as a downward force okay and one more thing again consider this friction force this that is acted on the small mass right so you have to apply the newton's third law again that 
because this is the friction that is acting on small mass in the upward direction so by third law it will be also acted on the bigger mass but in the downward direction right so this will be f1 so this normal reaction is balancing these forces right this is the normal reaction that will get okay so f1 uh, we have already uh, know is mu1 m way right tension we have already found in terms of a and g right n2 this is a normal reaction from the ground on the bigger mass now up, uh, apply the newton second law in the horizontal direction you see there are two forces that are pulling this mass the tension on the upper string this string and tension on the lower string don't just consider the tension on the lower string uh, people usually make that mistake right this tension is also pulling this mass so you have to consider the force as 2t 2t minus which force is opposing this motion the friction force f2 f2 is nothing but mu2 n2 mu2 is the coefficient of friction between the bigger mass and the floor n2 we already know mu2 is given to us right so this is nothing but mu2 n2 but there is also one more force this contact force that is uh, acting on in this direction in this uh, uh, small mass it will be acting in the opposite direction in the bigger mass this is the force that is opposing the motion right so this will be minus n1 also this is equal to by second law the net force will be equal to the mass into acceleration right now what are the unknowns that we have these are the equations uh, that we need to know to find the acceleration of the bigger mass right we know the tension in terms of acceleration and g we know this f1 is mu1 ma we already know f2 is mu2 n2 mu2 is given to us n2 you replace this n2 here right and n1 is already known to us ma right all this equation replace the value of t replace the value of n2 replace the value of n1 you will get a equation in terms of and you can uh, only one variable will be there left that is the acceleration and you can now easily find the acceleration right now just mathematics is there to solve okay so this is how we can do this problem right okay so next uh, problem that we will consider is about a uh, friction right the concept of friction when there is a rolling uh, when a uh, body is rolling on the ground right so we will consider for a sphere rolling on the ground we will consider the concept of friction how is it applied in that